What's up, Tactical Family? It's Elgato, aka the Gucci Gunner, Mr. Non Life himself. Today, we're doing a review on the uh, HRT, I believe this is the uh, RAC plate carrier. So, we'll go ahead and further all, without further ado, sorry, get started. Uh, before we do get started, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, uh, Life's a Gamble. You can see that. Pretty cool clothing company. Uh, they have sweatshirts for men, women. Uh, they have leggings for women. They've just released some more material. I believe hats as well as beanies. So go ahead and check out Life's a Gamble. That's LAG Clothing. You can do a Google search for LAG Clothing or Life's a Gamble Clothing. Go ahead and check them out. Again, very good material, very good quality of material. I've worn this and I've washed it and nothing's faded, nothing's shrunk on me, anything like that. So definitely. Again, thanks to our sponsor, LAG Clothing, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with this video. So here we have the HRT RAC placard, or sorry, not placard, plate carrier. Okay, I used to have the, uh, a plate carrier by AR500 Armor, and nothing against them. I just found this one better suited my needs, more for, uh, we'll say this is more mission capable. So we'll go over the way I have it set up and what all comes with this. So when you order this plate carrier from HRT, you'll see the single strap cummerbund here, okay? Now I am gonna upgrade to the quick release that they do have. This is just what I got so uh, got with it originally. And I've worn this plate carrier a few times. I'm not a big fan of the single strap just because I like more security on the sides. But you do have just a small quick, quick release per se, you know, to get out of the plate carrier. Now this little strap here, you can see on the side under the shoulder strap, okay? We'll get more into the shoulder straps here also. But you see right here, you have another quick release strap. So if you go down or you get down or you get in you know, a situation where you, you're, you're going underwater, you can quickly one, two, and get off your plate carrier because we know this weight or these plates do weigh you down. Now, we'll get into plates a little bit further down. I wanna go over more of the plate carrier first and what you guys get with it, okay? So, again, standard, you're just gonna get the plate carrier alone. This here is a rear zip-on pack. I'll go over and what I have, how I have it set up. And then I have in the front, I have my front placard with two pouches on it as well. So you get this plate carrier, I got it in multicam. You get it stocked with nothing that you see except the plate carrier, shoulder straps, and your buckles here, okay? So I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Now I do wanna show you something that's pretty cool. What I like about this plate carrier versus other plate carriers. You can see, okay, so right here, you have a nice indentation inside the plate carrier, which is gonna help with airflow. And I don't know if you know, but if you have been wearing plate carriers, wore plate carriers before, wore them a long time while in the military. And uh, my previous bodyguard job, I was wearing uh, more hard armor because of our location and things we were doing. So then now with that job, I was wearing my AR-500 armor. Now, one thing I could say different about this is the shoulder straps, the width. The AR-500 AR armor plate carrier, again, nothing wrong with the Testudo. The uh, shoulder straps were a little thick, so when it came to shouldering a rifle, I had trouble placing it deep into that shoulder, or nice, getting a nice spot on my shoulder for it. With these, with HRT, you get a nice, much thinner, and you get a better padded shoulder strap. So that's something to think about when you're shopping for a plate carrier. Again, on the front and rear of this plate carrier, you have these indentations. So it's gonna allow more airflow. You do get a little sweaty and start looking like a swimming pool up under there. So we'll go ahead and connect this back. Okay. And I'll make this a two part, not necessarily two separate videos. So I'm just gonna manage the time on this camera. Once again, you guys always hit this from me. I'm not gonna go into that. Okay, so. Now. With the front placard here, which I received, I'm not gonna take it off guys, sorry about that. Now what I will do is demonstrate for you how they have it set up. So, this front placard, you see it's gonna Velcro right on top of the cummerbund here, okay? And this is where your 
your, uh, not your cummerbund, sorry, your cummerbund here is gonna mount right on top of the front part of the cummerbund and has this nice uh, Velcro patch or patchwork and stitching so it has a nice secure fit, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and place that down on there. I like how it comes with these buckles here. When you buy this placard, okay, it comes with these buckles so you can, you'll weave it through on these two upper straps and go ahead and click through, all right? That way if you are running some type of a uh, chest rig or something like that from HRT, you can just simply unhook these here, snatch it off and put it on your, uh, on your, why do I keep drawing blanks? On your chest rig, okay. Now what I do like about this placard, on the sides here, it comes with two pistol mag holders or pouches. And it's got this nice little plastic inside to keep some retention on there. You also see I have three AR mags. And this, this placard I like because it comes with the uh, inserts for the AR mags. So that's something pretty cool that I like. It helps with uh, being mission ready. I do have some trauma shears just tucked up here in the top for a quick access in case I need to cut through something, cut through clothing, things like that. And I'll tell you why that's set up that way here in a second. Okay, here in the front, I've got some small items. I've got a compass. I've got a signaling mirror, okay? I have a small pill pack. And I have this by Blue Force Gear, the macro, um, the macro chem stick holder with, filled with red chem sticks. So that's all that's on that side, something that I need in case I need to do some marking or if I need to get back on a course, if I get off, off, off course or anything, doing some land nav, got my compass there. If I need to signal anybody, I've got, I've got quick access right here in that front left pouch. On the right side here, got some Surefire batteries. Never know, we're gonna need to replace some batteries. I've got a nice pen with a window punch that I believe will come in handy if you ever need to get through something or if you need to get in the car window or anything like that to help someone out. Also got a right in the rain pad with some neat little information in there. It's really for a uh, team. And I've got a Leatherman. You can't go wrong with a Leatherman. Now, that's all I have in that front pouch. Again, just minor things that I may need to get through me, get me through the mission. Here in between my, in my rig, got a nice little punch dagger. This one is by Wartech, okay? Nice little piece of security to have on you. And that's pretty much there for the front, for the front of this plate carrier, okay? Now you can, obviously you set this up to what you think you will need. This I'm still just going through the motions, seeing what exactly I'm gonna need for my specific my, uh, mission set, okay? Again, there's no right or wrong way to set up this front placard, this front, uh, front placard in front of the plate carrier. You're gonna build it out to essentially to what you need. Now to the back, which is what I really, really like. Right here, these zippers, okay? You got one, two, and there's two on the other side. Cause this pack here, which I'm not gonna take off, this is a zip on pack. You can get one that's a little more shell shaped. If you have a Kevlar or something you wanna throw in there, me personally, um, you know, I'll run a Kevlar when I run it, I'll just, honestly, if I'm not using it, I'll clip it on the side of my cummerbund there. It's not really big of an issue. Not anything big enough for me to want to take with me. Obviously, if you're in a situation, you're going to want to have your Kevlar on. Kevlar on, unless you're running slick or you're doing something more low profile, then that would be cool to have that shell back, to have it out of the way in case you need to get in the prone or anything, you can throw it in the back of your pack. But me personally, like I said, I'd rather just clip it on the side of my cummerbund. Now in this pack here, okay. See, I like patches, right? <laughs> Obviously, I have this one here for a certain reason, so anyone on my team working with me knows what to get and where to go for things in here. Got an extra tourniquet. This is a cat tourniquet, got it in there. I got some, uh, uh, an emergency blanket. Now, right now, that's all I have in here because I'm still going through some more of my medical gear to throw in here. And also, the reason being this isn't too full filled out yet because I do have a separate uh, IFAC or obviously I fact there was a small on my back. So this portion here will be more for uh, a more of a bigger casualty use. So I'm just gonna go through some more medical gear and think and put things in here that will be useful 
you know, stop bleeding and to, uh, you know, get, get things under control, get bleeding under control, maybe some airway, things like that. Reason I'm not going too crazy with it, this is gonna be more probably for just miscellaneous things like a cat tourniquet, small emergency bank and smaller things because I do have a separate med pack that, I'm, that I run with me that usually is on the side, well not this side, it's my firearm side, but on this side of my hip with the more med gear. Also, I have another med pack that we will usually delegate out to a certain person to carry. I most likely wouldn't be carrying because I have this pack already on my back, but if I have to, I'll throw on another pack. I don't care anything to save lives. This front top pouch here, this is more kind of uh, tools for the trade per se. Got a lighter, got some more chem sticks, bigger chem sticks, okay. Got some matches, got some 550 cord. I got a, a braided 550 cord that I actually braided up myself in Afghanistan, which is pretty cool. Guys, this stuff comes in handy. This one is stripped out of the uh, actual 550, so it can be uh, used for multiple things, multiple situations. Got a roll of flat duct tape, and what do you know, some more chem, chem lights. And another, what, uh, 50, no, sorry, 40 rounds of uh, ammo, just in case. You run through all your ammo and you need to, you know, re-up while you're out. If that happens, you're probably in a pretty tough, sticky situation. But uh, it's just there. So this is more kind of like a little essentials kit. That I, I'm, that's what I'm using it for. I'll probably take out some of these chem lights. But again, I have so many just in case, you know, depending on the missions, we need to delegate some out to other guys. So it's good to always have extra. You don't ever want to pack for yourself, especially when running with teams when you think of everyone that you're running with. Okay, now we're still not done. Uh, right here in the back, you can see I got some flexi cuffs. I might throw another on side. You never know if you have to, you know, snatch someone up, detain them, whatnot. Here in this pack. All right, this is what I love about this. There's so many compartments, things that you can run. I've got a Shamak. Down here where I'm at, it gets pretty hot. You can dip this in some water, pour some water on it, and wrap it around your head, keep your body cool. You can all use it to keep yourself out of the shade, whatever you want to use it for. Got a K-Bar. Can't go wrong with a K-Bar. This one's very special to me, given to me by a very close friend of mine. Uh, Mad Dog, I appreciate that. This thing has been in some uh, <laughs> some situations and, is, and, and I was fortunate enough to have this handed down to me. Okay. Also, essentials. Got a heater. If you don't know what that's for, then I suggest you learn. Got a little pack of spoon and some salt and stuff. Reason I got that heater is in case, you know, we take a little break while we're on mission or anything like that. Got two little MREs. This is the, uh, or main entrees. This is a brief biscuit and gravy. You know, two crown eating bastards know about that. And this is a chicken breast filet. I've also got some chocolate peanut, peanut butter spread and some hot sauce. This is good. You can sip on, uh, you know, crack this open, get some, get refilled, get some good protein in you. If you don't have time to sit down and crack one of these open. And the heater's just there in case there's time, but if you have to, you're gonna eat that how it is. Now also, what I plan on throwing in here, I'm not really sure yet, like I said, I'm still going through what my main use, and uh, not main use, but what, what uh, my mission set's gonna be. And like I said, and, and don't get stuck on mission set because missions change, obviously. So again, I'm gonna throw some more things in here that's kind of be uh, capable for the mission. Now this pouch here, and you guys can see right there, is for your water hydration system. I have a regular Camelback right now, but what I'm gonna purchase soon is the hard shell, the, the squarish hard shell pack that fits right in here. It's thin, but it holds a good amount of water. So when you run that through there, you got two little slots, one here on this side, under my, right there my finger and one on this side so you can run your straw through, okay? Now one thing I can appreciate as well from HRT, something simple, you got these loops here, okay? So turn around back to the front, got these loops here, you can run your hydration system on either side, also you can run your comms. There are some more uh, little pouches I'm gonna get. There's one that you can stuff in right here. I can hold another mag 
You can also hold your, your radio, your green gear, or if you're, if you're carrying black gear or anything like that, you can attach that to the side. Definitely check out HRT. Cause there's, I mean, there's, they really set up the game. It's really, it's affordable. The way this is set up completely how I have it now, I think you're looking at around 500 bucks. Now let's talk about plates. I'm sorry, before we forget, before we run out of time. I'm running steel. Now there's benefits, there's pros and cons to what type of plates you, you, you get or you buy, you run with. You can run with steel, there's ceramic, there's polyethylene, and then you have some mixtures of like ceramic and steel, this and that. So that's gonna be depending on you. Now for me, I chose the steel because they're gonna last a lot longer. They have a lot longer of a shelf life and you can take mul multiple hits with the steel, with, a, with steel plates. They are a little bit on the heavier side, maybe about six pounds each. Now these are thin cut with the rifle cutting as well. So they are kind of etched off at the edge right there. These are 10 by 12s. When you go to, if you decide to get this plate carrier, when you, when you go pick it up, um, know, your, know your size that you, have to, that you need for your plates and your plate carrier. Um, but with that being said, oh, last thing, very, very durable drag strap right here in case you need to go ahead and drag somebody off of the X. Other than that, guys, very short review. I really love this thing. Nothing against AR500 armor. I actually have those plates in here. These plates are AR500, AR500 still from AR500 armor or Armor Republic. I believe they switched their company name. But um, other than that, man, this is a very good rig. I'm uh, I'm I'm ecstatic about it. I love it. And one of the biggest things I can I can uh, stress is that middle cutting in the back and the front really helps with getting some air in there so you don't really sweat as much and get and, and get drenched down and start smelling like a group of marines that have been out in the field for seven days during a training for a workup you know but uh <laughs> there's a little one come here say hi say hi to the camera no come here come here right here come right here say hi camera say hi tactical world say hi <laughs> all right get out of here um, other than that guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a small, quick little video. I said I do one on my plate carrier when I'm running. Again, still setting things up to what I need it and what I need and how I need it. But other than that, you know, I pretty have it, have it set up pretty much how I want it. Again, this is the HRT RAC plate carrier and multi -cam. Check those guys out. And remember, give a shout out to our sponsor, LAG Clothing. Life's a gamble. Cause you know, you know, you, every day you wake up, you're gambling. So. And you can't believe the life, especially in today's world. This is why we prepare and why we uh, why we carry and why we why we get ready for things. But um, again, Elgato, aka Mr. Non Life himself, the Gucci Gunner, checking out. See you guys later. All right.